Good evening and welcome to another episode of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. It's Wednesday evening and this is your news. So there's more reports on Andros Townsend uh, having a possible link away with um, clubs like Newcastle and Aston Villa. The most likely, um, obviously we're not willing to let him go for less than £15 million. There are other clubs like Southampton, Watford and Bournemouth also interested in him. Uh, he's played three times for the under-21s over the last few weeks. Does that signify that he's off in January? Potentially. Let us know what you think. Uh, if, if you want Andrew Townsend to stay at the club, I don't know whether I do. He, he clearly does want to stay at the club. Um, you know, he's, he's putting in a lot of effort to, to show Poch what his intentions are. Uh, and it was his idea to play for the under-21s. And it looks like he really wants to show Poch that he's, he's got a desire to stay at the club. So let us know what you think about Andrew Townsend and whether you want him to stay at the club. Second up, Sevilla are linked with Fazio, his old club, uh, and they potentially want to take him on a loan in January with the idea of taking him on permanently at the end of the season. He's not played for us in the Premier League this season. If you remember, he did play against Arsenal in the Capital One Cup when we lost 2-1 and he had a stinker. And not many people really want him to stay at the club. But not sure whether Poch wants to keep him in just as a, as a safety net. And I'm not that fussed whether he stays or goes, to be honest. Um, I'd prefer him to go and us potentially bring in another defender. Let us know what your thoughts are on whether you want to keep Fazio at the club or you want him to go. Third up, the story of the day, Chelsea have been linked with the one and only Juan de Ramos, according to the Times. He's not had a job for a while since he left the Neat Pro earlier this year, I think. And we know him as the boss that did take us to a uh, League Cup victory over Chelsea on that memorable night in 2008. But we also remember him as the boss who had a complete nightmare and lost under over half of our games, I think and lost the first eight games in the following season after we won the League Cup, which was our worst start to the season for a very, very, very long time. And one thing I can say about um, Juan de Ramos potentially going to Chelsea is LOL! And look who's popped in! So guys, at Spurred on TV, it's not difficult at all. It's an absolutely fantastic Spurs. Spurs, yeah. Yeah, Spurs channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the Football Republic as well if you haven't already subscribed over there. Live shows on a Monday or a Sunday or whenever you want. And this guy's pretty face is going to be on it pretty soon. So You can also subscribe to our Twitter if yeah. you want to. And at follow us at Spurred on TV. TV. So make sure to follow us. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> To you and yours. See you later. Bye. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts Part One. This is the show where we talk about everything that's got us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. But this week, we're not really excited. No way. It's been a tough old week. It Very has. depressing week.